Once upon a time, I made a walkthrough on a game called Donkey Kong Country. It was not 100% because I didn't have much confidence in myself, so nowadays it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb when you compare it to number 2 and number 3, which I did 100%. So here I am doing a redo of the walkthrough. <laughs> And then there's some elderly abuse coming on here, it's uh, kind of mandatory for the start of the game, that's just how things go, and then you get scoffed at by the elderly, and the elderly throw some explosives at you, and you're like, oh god, and you just blow up, and that's how the walkthrough starts. <laughs> so here we are, a re-walkthrough, or walkthrough redo, whatever you want to call it, of Donkey Kong Country. Yes, yes, one player, of course, and we begin in the Congo jungle of jungle hijinks. And the game story is basically, well, you've been robbed. Diddy Kong's been kidnapped. You lost your entire banana horde. All because of King K. Rule and his cronies. We gotta do something about that. So we set off to do so. <laughs> now, I'll ask for the controls. You know, you move around with the control pad, you know, I'm gonna do that, you can duck, you can look around, yeah, you're just having a good time, hold the Y button to run, press the B button to jump, you know how it goes, typical platforming stuff and stuff, it's pretty intuitive, you go back to his house, you'll find a one-up, and you can also take a look at, well, the remaining bananas that he's got left over, plus a picture of his girlfriend, Candy Kong, but alas, Alas, it's not the real thing, so we can't really do anything to- I mean to- never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get up to- I, I hear you, Diddy Kong, down there. Yeah, if you go all the way up here, you can get a one-up, and then if you do rolling jumps- Oh, poopers, I messed up on that one. You can get another one-up over there, but alas, alas. Now I'd like to go back and get Diddy, because two is much better than one. <laughs> These uh, critters that I'm defeating, this beaver here is known as Naughty. Yeah, pretty easy to defeat. Same with those critters, the crocodile-like enemies, though there are uh, different variations of the enemies in the game. If you fall high enough onto those marks on the ground like that, you can sometimes find stuff in them. And watch this, watch this. I am going to show you a little secret. Oh, look at me go! Woo! Bye-bye, naughty! Bye-bye, critter! <laughs> Bye-bye, clomp! Oh, that's a checkpoint right there, so... <laughs> I would definitely like to get those checkpoints, as they're mighty handy. And here's Neki. There's more variations of this one that you'll see later. This one likes to throw nuts. And that's that golden thing that we got there is kind of a secret thing, but collect three of them and you'll end up at a bonus area of said critter. Let's just put it that way. Here's Rambi the Rhinoceros. He doesn't have the super special powers of later games, but he's still got the power! And you can crash through here just by running into it and find a bonus area! If you find all the bonus areas in the game, you will be able to get the 100%... Oh, I mean it, 101%, excuse me. <laughs> because, you know, Donkey Kong Country series, never about those even numbers. And if you get all those Kong letters that, you, that I got there, those K-O-N-Gs, you'll get a 1-Up. Now, if you get... Uh, if you match three of the same tokens, you can potentially get that token. Okay, you will get that token. So just watch the order carefully, and there we go. I'm trying to get all the Espresso tokens that I can here, just because I'll be able to go to an Espresso bonus area pretty soonish, providing that I do that, so yeah. And there's another one of those secret holes in the ground. There's a couple of ones that are like just in the middle with no marks or anything like that whatsoever. Uh, so they're kind of kind of obscure to find, uh, but they're not very important, luckily. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna show you what we missed here really quick. Oh, by the way, to jump off of Rambi, all I did was press the A button, which also switches your Kongs around, which reminds me, remember I was saying that, you know, two is better than one? Well, well, there's a thing that, uh, if you should say I have Diddy Kong, he's faster, more nimble, he's got the cartwheels, and he's, he seems to have similar moves, but he's actually weaker than Donkey Kong, so he's got his own weaknesses. Yes and you will probably see me having trouble with those weaknesses at certain points, but that is okay. <laughs> oh, there, see, there's one of those secret spots. Just happens to be in the ground there by pounding it. I should say by landing on it. And there we go, look at that! And whenever you 100% a level, 
you'll see that it has an exclamation point at the end of it, so you'll know you are done with that level, so we can get out of there, and we can go on to the next one, which is Ropey Rampage. Oh, by the way, also, you may pause the game by pressing the start button like that, and the select button will also switch your characters as well. Just thought I would say it. Just thought I would say it. Alright, let's go to the cheat tops. I think there be some secrets. Yeah, banana bunches. Banana bunches are worth 10 each. So, and if you get 100 bananas, you get an extra life. Ooh, Army the Armadillo. Did you see that? Diddy Kong couldn't kill it in one hit, but if you use Donkey Kong on Army there, you will be able to kill it in one hit. That's hence the, uh, uh, well, you can also use TNT barrels, of course, but that's the whole weakness thing that I was talking about. Uh, just jump on a vine, or whatever you want to call it, like, maybe it's a rope, maybe it's a vine, whatever these things, I mean, look, they've gotta be a rope, I mean, you know, they're weave, but there's sometimes vines you can climb, but whatever, whatever they are, you can just press up and down to climb them once you are on them. Now watch this, watch this, I'm gonna switch to Donkey Kong for the next army. Uh, well, eventually. <laughs> It'll pop up eventually, I, I assure you. Well, there's a Rambi token up there, hanging out, having a good time. And uh, there's some really obscure seek. Oh, poopers! I just missed my opportunity to kill that sucker in one hit. I should have just avoided it. But there's some really obscure secrets in this level, and uh, this is partly why I didn't 100% it too when I first played through the game. Watch this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How is anyone gonna think of that? I don't know, but that that's the kind of secrets that are in this game sometimes. <laughs> so I guess my best tip is to jump in every pit that you can find and hope that it isn't down as death type of situation. <laughs> and there's the letter N. And... Whee! Woohoo! I, I kind of wanted that DK barrel, but well, I, I I guess I'm gonna. Oops! I guess I'm going to end up. Uh, well, I, ooh, I can't push this, can I? Oh, oh, yes, I can. I was gonna say, I guess I can uh, just go through the level twice to show you what you missed. Maybe, maybe. Well, okay, I absolutely could, but yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, it is safe to jump on said armies in one hit with Diddy if they're out of their ball form, but yeah. And Zingers, you don't want to touch them with anything but a barrel of some kind, because you can't jump on them, they're just too dang spiky. Anyway, let's move on. Oh boy. <laughs> and there's another bonus area right here, another obscure one. Yeah, uh-huh. I mean, it's not as obscure as the other one is, but still. Okay, watch the one up carefully and try and pick the barrel that it stops in. Uh, I think it was this one. Yeah! My eyes are very quick. <laughs> yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> and hopefully I'm not going to die on this ending run here. Just get out of your ball form, please. But you're much easier to deal with when you're not balling up. <laughs> and I would like to get that letter G for 1-Up, because this game's pretty difficult, and I'd like to build up lives for later levels. And there we go, Ropey Rampage is 100%ed. But, 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 we kind of missed out on a lot of level, didn't we? <laughs> so let's go back through here really quick. And, uh, oh, I don't want Army to attack me there. Well, yeah, let's go back through here really quick and uh, take a look-see around at the stuff we have missed. Okay? Okay, I guess I'll grab another Rambi token there, because why not? No, you don't. I am just going to be basically running through stuff here. That is the O spot where I jump down to get to the secrets. And oh, I missed a checkpoint. I guess that's a pretty important thing. <laughs> and yeah, there's a couple of armies. TNT barrel, DK barrel. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, well, well, I just kind of grabbed the barrel by mistake there. <laughs> Uh, oh shoot, well, I think that is uh, about all that we've seen there anyway, so, <laughs> so maybe it won't matter that I die there. Well, let's just see for kicks. And notice that when you die, you, uh, when you have both Kongs, like when you fall down a pit, you still keep both Kongs. I always found that kind of interesting, because usually deaths just, you know, knock you down to one, because, you know, most things are damage-related stuff and stuff, and yes, there's another N right there. Yep, that's a thing, too. There's actually multiple N's, and multi I should say multiple letters whenever it's possible to, say, miss one of them, uh, because of a bonus area or something like that. At least in most cases, it's like that. And it looks like we are done. <laughs>
army can't get me when I'm going inside the cave. Cranky's Cavern, he's got words of wisdom. Um, I have not, unfortunately. But and every time I see Cranky, I'll just pop in here and just let him run out his dialogue. Um, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm, I am bet they could. I mean, looking into the future, I bet they could, but we probably shouldn't be talking <laughs> talking about that now. And Cranky Kong is truly, truly ahead of his time. <laughs> Two frame walk, yes. <laughs> but really, it is true. Graphics do not make a game. Gameplay makes a game. And uh, there's multiple things that he says, and you can come back and listen to more of his stuff that he has to ramble about if you just re-click on Cranky's Cabin. But I think what I'm going to do is uh, just, you know, see him run out of dialogue, and then I'll just go to the next level, and then I'll go to the next Cranky's Cabin as it comes up, and you'll see new dialogue, etc., etc., until I eventually run out of dialogue. <laughs> I will do my best, you know, like, not accidentally running myself into a pit. And Cranky's Cabin does not count as a level, so there's no exclamation point to 100% there. Reptile Rumble, let's do it. First cave level. Ooh, it's so spooky. Yet calm at the same time. Here's Slipper, the snake. Pretty easy enemy to deal with because it's so wide and flat and low. Probably the easiest enemy to deal with in the game, actually. And yeah, you can see a different variety of critter here. Blue, it's the hopping one. Mm -hmm. But they are disposed of with just one jump, just like the other ones are. Oh, and I may or may not have uh, accidentally come across a secret here. Oh yes, it's a bonus area! Don't forget to go here for your 100% completion! Yeah! <laughs> and you can go right back in it- no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Once you go in one, they disappear until you leave the level and come back. So yeah. Oh, uh, uh, you can get these bananas by jumping in very carefully and quickly. Or you can just do it like this. I should say jumping in now very quickly and carefully or just ducking as they go over there. You're, when you go into one of these under passes here, you automatically go into ducking mode so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, slip up. You gotta go. Oh, there's double slip up down there. That is okay. New variety of zinger. We're just gonna go right over them. And anything up here? Nah. <laughs> Uh, can I throw a barrel forward and say, wipe out everything in my path? Yeah! And more importantly, find the bonus area! Let's see if I can get all the bananas in one run! Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Oh, that kind of worked. <laughs> and by the way, um, you can either leave via the cave or just leave like... Oh, there's no hole here, but well, whatever. Uh, if, you, if there's a hole there, you can leave that way as well, but... Yeah, it's basically the same thing. Hey, I got a one-up for 100 bananas. Happy days. On guard token of happiness. Oop, gotta bounce off some Kremlin dudes there to grab it. You know, the critters. Mm -hmm. Whenever you see the arrow like this, it generally means that the end of the level is near. Ooh, 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 ooh got the last G. And, 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 and... I made it. <laughs> Oh, shoot, I forgot about this. Oh, I remember where I forgot it was, I think. <laughs> Alright, so we're going back in because I missed the secrets. That is okay, though. There are many secrets that I'm probably going to miss just like that because they're very easy to be out. <laughs> very easy to miss out on. And grab that one up. And that is the secret that I missed. Now, if you should... Woohoo! If you should already have a level beaten, you can pause the game and then press select to exit the level and your bonus areas will be saved. See the exclamation point? Yup, yup, yup. So there we go. I think it's a good time to end off the part here because I've basically transitioned into a whole new screen here. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> you can enter Reptile Rumble, Rumble on either side, but yes, yes. <laughs> so anyway, with that, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part.